I found a diary entry from when I was in kindergarten that said, oh, you should go to MIT when you're old and become an engineer and you're gonna like become the first female CEO of a company. Growing up, MIT was never really on my radar. No one ever really did it in my high school. I didn't think it was something that could happen to me. I got a scholarship to come here and it actually made it uh, cheaper for me to go here than it would be for my state school. And then for that, I'm really grateful. I grew up in a very small town. I feel like most people viewed the world a certain way. And since I came up here, all the people I've met have viewed the world in ways that I found really insightful. Most of the people that I've met here or choose to surround myself with here are really engaged in what they're doing and they're always willing to have a conversation about something and I think that kind of curiosity is pretty rare. There is such a strong sense of community here. You can really go into anything that you want to do and you'll find a group of people that will support you in that thing. I feel like MIT is a springboard. I am very excited to travel through the abroad programs here and kind of see the world and do research around the world. All of the experiences I've had at MIT wouldn't be something that my family and I could do if it wasn't for the generosity of my scholarship donors. That's made it really bearable for my family to send me here, and so I'm really grateful to them. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart that you take time to donate to people who you don't know, um, but who you believe in. The things that you put into this institute are what makes it run, and there's so many opportunities that undergrads and grad students have here due to donors and people who give grants. That those of us here on campus really appreciate you and are really grateful to you, and hopefully we'll all be in your shoes someday and do the same thing.